Mono. Welcome to the Mono A Mono Show, folks. Welcome to the Mono A Mono Show here on CKMS 102.7 Mono A Mono! Uh, every year at around this time, the Mono A Mono Show puts out, uh, we've been playing the top, what we feel are some of the top releases of 2018, but we've been playing a whole bunch of them. Like, uh, week to week, actually bi-week to bi-week, now that the Mono A Mono Show is bi-weekly. Um, I've been playing a whole bunch of different stuff, and 18 of those you're going to hear on tonight's program. Tonight's program, someone suggested, one of the Mono Amigos emailed in and said, why don't you do a top 18 of 2018? Because there have been so many great tracks released uh, this year. Uh, in 2018. So what we're gonna, we, we thought, sure, let's do it. There are so many great albums and, and one-off tracks and um, different things released that we're gonna do the top 18. Now, what the reason why I said one-off tracks and albums and stuff like that, we're not necessarily doing full albums. Now, you may go to some other things and they may only do full albums or only singles. This, kind of the ranking of this is dependent. So we put it out there to the Mono Amigos, to the CKMS membership, to the fans, the Mono, uh, the, the uh, CKMS Amigos, I guess, for lack of a better name. And um, they can vote on what they think are the best ones. Now, a big part of it comes from the Mono Amigos and uh, uh, and the Mono A Mono DJs like myself, DJ Steel, DJ Ad Rock, uh, DJ Jeffy Jeff, and DJ Matador, who all kind of put in their input. So there is a little bit of bias because the Mono Amigos and all those DJs that I just mentioned have been listening to the program and kind of like the genre. There is other um, DJs from CKMS who have weighed in, and that's kind of moved things around. So, uh, here is our top 18 of 2018. Now, what you're listening to in the background right here is our number 18 spot. So, what's kind of neat is uh, right on the Mono A Mono Show, the Mono A Mono Show has been releasing a few albums. And uh, this album was one of the ones that the Mono A Mono Show released. And it was actually in the local KW Record and the Hamilton Spectator. Uh, I'm going to get the image up here on... Uh, if you're watching us on the YouTube, we are both right now streaming this to YouTube and attempting to go live to CKMS 102.7 on the FM. You can also be listening to us right on www.radiowaterloo.ca on the live stream there but if you're listening to us on a computer you may as well click the live stream and watch us live as well so um, I'm calling up the uh, newspaper article for those people who are watching us if not you're just enjoying the music in the background here and sit back and relax because we are going to get to 18 hot tracks from this year here is some green tree frogs, right here, CKMS. Like moonlight, 
right there it is some green tree frogs i don't know if i mentioned before i was kind of getting in and excited about this whole show and everything but this green tree frogs album uh jeff mckenna from the green tree frogs was in on the mono a mono show did an interview and played some live stuff so it's going to be up on the radio waterloo um youtube page where this is live streaming you can make sure check it out down below and again if you have others that you feel should be in this list let me know kind of like now i'm not saying that they'll make it in the list here's the thing in the number 17 spot i've got the smashing pumpkins with their uh with their new song silvery sometimes and i believe it's got i just gotta look it up here it's got like a um it's got an in brackets ghosts silvery sometimes subtitled ghosts now it um i put on i i'm on the sp army facebook group and i put it out there that i had them in my top 10 um and i don't know something about sp fans smashing pumpkin fans they are really hating on the smashing pumpkins or some people really love it and they love to argue with each other and everything so i put it up there that i had them higher up people were bad mouthing the album and everything i personally think that this is one of their best efforts efforts since zeitgeist now a lot of people on there do not like zeitgeist I quite enjoy Zeitgeist. Um, yeah, so I, and I think this one's pretty good. So I've got it coming in at number 17. Again, if you disagree, make sure to put in a comment or, or tell me a couple of your top 18 or top 10 or whatever you think. Here it is, Smashing Pumpkins, Silvery Sometimes. Not all the time right here on CKMS 102.7 Mono A Mono!
right there it is some smashing pumpkins silvery sometimes right there on ckms uh i'm gonna jump into a two shot here just because timing we've never done a top 18. one year we did a top 15 and we had to do a couple of these back to backs in order to fit them all in um these next two bands are two great canadian bands one of them we heard about from um the guys in um, the gay 90s when we did an interview with them and that is Ben Sinister coming in at number 16 is Ben Sinister they released a new album this year I'm looking for it on my desk my desk is so messy I can't find it at this moment um, and the other is Tokyo Police Club I have both these albums right here sorry I should have organized this right before I went live. Um, there's Tokyo Police Club. Can't find Ben Sinister. Tokyo Police Club, where's my... Oh, it's kind of hard to see. There it is. Great album. We're going to get into a track from both of these two bands right here. Some Ben Sinister in at number 16. Tokyo Police Club Tokyo Police Club in at number 15 right here on CKMS 102.7 There's a freight train Way running mine. down here from the edge of a mountain top It's out of control it's ready to roll We're gonna roll right through the star We cannot win but we cannot lose when we don't all play the game well, people choose sides when the world collide Well, you never know we're all the same when There's an old dog learning new tricks Never say it can be done We can all stand up and fight the fuck Don't even need no guns They say they want to lead you Like hell they do and The siren sounded And it's calling out to you I got your back
video always makes me dizzy. Oh, wow. But it's a great video. I want you wearing white. I want you in a frame. Nothing but a t shirt. Dancing in the rain. Cause I'm just a simple dude with an ordinary mind. I want you in your body, hold it next to mine. Cause everything you do is a new sensation. Touch my touch, I feel the rush Okay, those were a couple great tracks. Just to recap, because we are we've done a bunch right now. We're we're entering. Well, we've broken the top fifteen. Um, we've had Green Tree Frogs in at number eighteen, number seventeen Smashing Pumpkins, number sixteen Ben Sinister, number fifteen Tokyo Police Club, in at number fourteen. We've got one that's kind of related, I believe, to Tokyo Police Club. Uh, and what's interesting, I don't have the past list in front of me, the past year's list in front of me, but the last time that, um, I believe I maybe just found it. Uh, the Anyway, I'm going to just talk in generalizations and then I'll have to back myself up later. Uh, oh! 2014, Tokyo Police Club released an album that came in 8th, and also, no, it wasn't 2014, 2015, Dilly Dally released an album that came in 10th, okay, maybe they didn't ever do it in the same year, maybe I'm thinking of a different person, anyway, okay, 
No, I thought uh, last time they both released an album, they were both in the same top ten, but it seems like it was a different year that they released that album. So anyways, Dilly Dally, it's like new age grunge. It's amazing. This album is amazing. Last time they released an album, it was in our uh, top songs, top releases of the year. And a couple different reasons, like a couple of those bands, The Smashing Pumpkins, that's a great track. Um, Green Tree Frogs, Ben Sinister, Tokyo Police Club, Dilly Dally, uh, they are all solid full releases. So you want, I, I wouldn't go and recommend just one song from those bands. I would go and download the whole thing uh, and make sure to kind of sit with the album, take in the whole album, because it's a fantastic full album as a set. Whereas Smashing Pumpkins, for example, I feel like the tracks on that new uh, Shiny and Oh So Bright, and apparently it's a volume one, some of them are hit or miss. I wasn't a huge fan of um, Solera. It was, it was amazing when they played it live. But the recording of it just isn't that great. I love Silvery Sometimes. That one is a great one. Dilly Dally, I, although I'm getting into kind of a single from this, the whole album is great, so make sure to check it out. Here is some Dilly Dally right here on CKMS in at number 14 Stay on the chart. 102.7. Mono a mono! But I want you to find what might make sense, man It's already hurt you back then Come, come, try
That was some dilly dally right there on CKMS 102.7 mono a mono. Uh, and in the background, you are hearing our number 13. This was Audio Boffins. This is Audio Boffins featuring uh, Emily Hope Price. Now, apparently in the, uh, in the album notes, this was recorded a little while ago, uh, this song in particular, not the whole album, but it was just released this year. Fantastic, it was picked up by a whole bunch of things. Here is literally an hour ago, uh, I was sent this blog that was uh, messaging about this album. And uh, it's picking up now. I believe it's this track, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a, another one, which is uh, also uh, a shout out to Bauhaus. It's kind of got a little bit of a Bauhaus feel. Um, so again, this is more, uh, it, it's hard to place exactly the genre of it. We like here on the Mono A Mono show to say anything we like is towel rock. We soak up all different great stuff from different genres. However, this one, I'm going to classify a little bit as a jazz type, a, an electronic jazz type thing. It is also, I, I, I feel like it's a concept album. You, you want to listen to the whole thing from start to end. So this is another album here that you want to go download the whole thing. The whole thing is available free at the Mono A Mono Bandcamp page. I'm going to get that up here while this one's going. And check out Audio Boffins with this song in particular featuring Emily Hope Price right here on CKMS. Mano a mano! Okay, we are back here on the Mono A Mono Show. We've got a couple interesting ones. I'm going to do, I'll do a one here. This one needs a little bit, this one is more of a single. I've been talking about some bands have released great singles. Make sure to check out the singles. Also, I would check the, the rest of the songs. Different people have different tastes. You may love the rest of the stuff on the album just because the Mono Amigos and I are didn't vote it up for that. You may you may want to vote it super high for that. Um, but the, I'm, I was just saying that that's one of the factors for weighing uh, different releases and how strong a single is versus an album versus 
it's hard to come up with these lists. And that's why a lot of the time when people do, people get angry and they are going in and messaging saying, no, that shouldn't be on the list. This should be on the list and everything like that. So anyway, kind of like that Smashing Pumpkin forum where they had a whole bunch of ideas and people were going back and forth. Anyhow, Smash Boom Pow, Ulysses Copert, one of my favorite vocalists ever. I, I, I feel like, uh, and I don't want to give away an upcoming um, selection, but has got a, a similar vocal style to... I don't know. I, I think Mars Volta in certain tracks. However, sometimes it's more uh, um, more warped and Radiohead-ish and more of a, of a straight indie style. But that's what we've got coming in at number 12. Fantastic group, Smash Boom Pow. Fantastic releases. And they've, they've released a little EP with a couple tracks. Uh, and we've got one. We've got uh, the one track here. Um, I don't know. The, see, the thing is, there's a couple tracks on here that could make it. We're, I'm going to choose one. It's going to be a last minute decision, but it's a great little EP. I would definitely check it out. That is Smash Boom Pow. Let's see what I click right here on CKMS 102.7. Mano a mano! Some smash boom pow. Ulysses Copert uh, recorded with the Robot Apocalypse Collective. That is another reason why uh, Smash Boom Pow is near and dear to the Mono A Mono Hearts. Uh, along with this next one coming in at number 11, Parker Bosley also did some uh, recording for Robot Apocalypse. He did, uh, he collaborated with us with the uh, track Mechanical Heart uh, a few years back. And what's weird is he released an album recently, and it is 
it's got a phenomenal, absolutely amazing stop motion video, uh, music video to it. And the song is unbelievable as well. But I'm not sure what happened, if there was something going on in Parker Bosley's life or what, what not. I did see, which I'm very excited for, in 2019 is going to be a new Fur Trade album. Parker Bosley is in Fur Trade. That is going to be unbelievable. I, I'm going to grab my Fur Trade album and show that, which I can't find. I, I did also have um, a Gay 90s vinyl. The proof is in the podcasting. Actually, it's in my Instagramming. If you go to at Mam Radio on Instagram and go down to one of my earlier Instagram posts, I've got a Gay 90s, I think it's a 7-inch, maybe it's a 10-inch, I think it's a 7-inch uh, single. Uh, I, I haven't been able to find it for a little bit, but I do have my 7 inches over here, so maybe I'll see if I can find it. Um, I, I believe it's the Letterman single, pressed to a 7-inch vinyl. Anyway. We're talking about Parker Bosley. He released a solo track called Chemicals. It is just the one track. It's phenomenal. It's got an amazing video. But that's all that was that's all that came out. So here it is in at number 10 or number 11. Number 11. Parker Bosley. Chemicals right here. CKMS 102.7. Mono a mono.
All right, there it is. Some Parker Bosley chemicals right there on CKMS. Now I'm gonna do another two pack here uh, just to keep on time, make sure that we can fit this in during our uh, time slot here on the Mono A Mono Show. Um, two local, however, one is no longer local. Now coming in at number 10, so we're into the top 10 right here on the CKMS Mono A Mono, top 18 of 2018. We're going to get to a track off Carolee's home EP that was released earlier this year. She did a couple performances here in the KW re region, uh, one of them with the Robot Apocalypse. And phenomenal EP. I, I forget who she, she did do some work with someone else. Uh, she recorded her part, sent it out. They kind of amalgamated these two together and then they released it. Um, great album. If you get a chance, make sure to check it out. I believe it is available on iTunes. What's weird about iTunes is all of a sudden I can no longer, they're saying my operating system because I have Windows 7 or something like that. I can no longer download things from iTunes, from the iStore. I don't know what that's about. So, um... I did not get it from the iStore. I bought the physical copy uh, and got it straight from Carolee. However, I believe iStore, if not iStore, I don't know. Check the description below. I'll have another spot where you can get it from. So number 10, we've got the Home EP. She just recently moved down to San Fran to continue her music career down there. Uh, and jumping in at number nine, we're also going to jump into some Cyanide Kiss, just re-released, -re mastered, re-released, oh, whole, a whole bunch of their albums. The music was lost for the past couple of years. They've, they've put together this re-release and are re releasing it now. Um, and so we're going to get into a track from that as well, right here on CKMS. 102.7 Mono A Mono
track of my travel So it plays as life unfolds It follows me back, follows me back, back home It follows me back, it follows me back, back Okay, there we had a great local set of some Kara Lee and some Cyanide Kiss. Uh, two phenomenal tracks right there by local KW musicians. Although we mentioned before, one of them is no longer KW. And actually, Cyanide Kiss, although they are now KW, when they were re releasing all their albums, they were from Hamilton, which is pretty local. Pretty local, just down the... Uh, down the Highway 8 there. Highway 8? Yeah, 401 and 6. Or you can go straight down 8. Either way. Either way, you're going to get to you're gonna get to Hamilton. So, um, we're moving right along with another Hamilton band. So, I guess kind of local. Actually, 
Um, kind of interesting. He mentions it in this song. We're going to get to... Uh, he has had so many great shows. The one show that we talked about on the Mono A Mono show for a long time was there used to be a cool little house in the area called the Trepid House. And Wax Mannequin what had one of the weekend days to close out the Trepid House. They were sold. It, the whole thing was ripped down. There's a whole documentary, a little documentary, like a three-minute documentary on it, on the uh, Robot Apocalypse page, all about this uh, little Trepid House. And they used to do all these little secret shows. That is still, to the day, one of my favorite shows was seeing Wax Mannequin perform at that. Uh, that was even before he uh, did the weird things where he would light a candle and have a burning candle on his head with the wax dripping down his face while performing. Absolute amazing uh, performer. And I'm going to get to a track right now uh, from Wax Mannequin. This is the single off his uh, new album. I believe it's Find a New Home. Um, I'm going to call it up here and we're going to get into it. Here is some Wax Mannequin right here on CKMS. 102.7 Mono A Mono. Going 140 on the 401. The cop lights flash me down outside Kingston. The officer said, son, I'm just like you. Try to ease up and pass on through I'm shifty in the customs line My suitcase is full of shitty Dutch wine She hears the bottles rattle and clink Waves me right through with no real wink My shopping cart won't fit anymore Thoughtlessly, I walk right through the door The clerk said, you don't look like a thief I will let it slide, you can pay me next week Oh, someone fixed the game for me Someone fixed the game for me I'm not on top, but I can see that somebody fixed it for me I'm sick and scared of living downtown With the disenfranchised volatile crowd The bank man said he would sell us a loan for a no money down suburban home What could go wrong When the cop, the nurse, the fire brigade I break down, they all run to my aid It don't matter just how deep I get stuck Someone arrives to dig me up Someone fix the game for me Someone fix the game for me I scramble high enough to see that somebody fixed it for me when other blokes get tossed in the clink I sneak by to frolic and drink Some say it's cause I'm clever Or nice But that's just code for privileged and white So if you're a thief less fortunate Man up and oppress somebody else Then in a generation or two Someone will fix the game for you Like someone will fix the game Nights, and I'm hit with the three I'm no card shark But the dealer knows me Somebody fixed it I see But a storm has come There's a flood rushing in It's up to my neck And it's through to my skin Keep your head down Everything's fine, don't worry about yours, I got what's mine You see the auctioneer, he's manning the raft It's calling out the oars and the mast If I can bid the other guy down I will sail home, the rest and drown Someone fix the game for me Someone fix the game for me That sun is so hot, I'll sail free Somebody fix this for me yeah, someone fix the game for me Someone fix the game for me Not a drop to drink, no land to seek in Somebody fix 
this for me? Can't somebody fix this for me? Can't somebody fix this for me? Okay, we're back. There was some wax mannequin. Um, I think I said as we went into it, Have a New Home was the album. I think because I was talking about Hamilton moving to Waterloo, things like that. I don't know. It isn't Have a New Home. It, it was up on the screen even. It was Have a New Name, which I guess if you have a new home, the name of the uh, location of the home is different. So, and what you heard right there was someone fix the game. And maybe I'm thinking, because I was thinking about uh, how he, uh, in the song, mentions moving to a suburban, uh, a nice suburban home or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, I'm going to do a quick recap of what we heard so far. 18, Green Tree Frogs. 17, Smashing Pumpkins, 16, Ben Sinister, 15, Tokyo Police Club, 14, Dilly Dally, 13, Audio Boffins featuring Emily Hope Price, 12, Smash Boom Pow, 11, Parker Bosley, 10, Kara Lee, 9, Cyanide Kiss, 8, Wax Mannequin, which brings us to number 7 right here. A mono a mono favorite. We've seen them perform live many times. The Wet Secrets. Um, I don't even know what I can say. Actually, I do know. There's a lot to say about this one. This one is in here on a technicality. Um, the album by The Wet Secrets uh, was released last year. Um... I, I'm just uh, double checking. Not free candy. It's not even up on their band camp. Why is it not up on their band camp? I'm going to have to look in my iTunes. There it is. The Tyranny of Objects. Now, it was released last year. Towards the end of the year. And it was in our... It was in our uh, top... I think we did a top 10 last year. 2017. We had The Wet Secrets in at number 6. And we played Kel Supreme. Although on here it shows up as Kel Surprise. I believe... Um, Maybe we even messed up the name. Uh, but I feel like it was at one point called Kel Supreme. But I could be completely wrong. I don't know. Anyways. Um, I think we called it Kel Supreme. Anyway. Um, but what happened was their drummer ended up leaving the band. I, I believe they've picked up a different drummer. And it is no longer the same drummer. And they've kind of had to re-release this album. And they put together a phenomenal video uh, for Give It To Me Straight. So this year, coming in at number 7, is The Wet Secrets with this kind of re-release of this album that they released last year but didn't really have a chance to, to push The Tyranny of Objects. Uh, and we are going to go with the track Give It To Me Straight. It's one and been talked about on social media and stuff like that for how cool the video is, and it is very cool. Maybe we'll be able to get some clips of it in here. However, what I find is when we go live uh, to radio, it doesn't matter if we play from YouTube, uh, when we go live to YouTube, it doesn't matter if we play music from YouTube, but if we play someone else's video, usually we get some copyright stuff and then our podcasts don't post. So... I won't be able to show too much of the video, but I would make sure, especially if you love this song, which I do, uh, go and check out the Give It To Me Straight video by The Wet Secrets. Absolutely phenomenal. And they're in at number seven right here on the CKMS and Mono A Mono. Top 18 of 2018. Here it is. 
The Wet All Secret. Right. See what I'm saying? I don't know how, like, let me. Both of them are great. Completely different feeling though. Oh shoot, I just closed it again. Uh, completely different feeling to both of those tracks, but both of them absolutely amazing. Uh, what you just heard was some wet secrets. Give it to me straight right there. Um, Jumping in at number six, this is a mono a mono production. I've been talking about it a little bit with some of these people. Hopefully, I can get uh, Lyle from The Wet Secrets to do some recording. Actually, I've asked a few people on our list. I don't know. Uh, obviously, we've had... Um, oh, I can't give them away. Uh, Ulysses Copert, Parker Bosley, Kara Lee... Uh, have all recorded with the Robot Apocalypse Collective. Jeff McKenna is one of the main people uh, from Green Tree Frogs. Um, yeah, and we're trying, we would love to record with, it used to be just Canadian musicians. We've opened it up to even more. We've got a cool track coming up. 
uh, by uh, Robot Apocalypse that includes uh, the Zemlinsky Quartet, with the, which is a, a Czech uh, string quartet. Phenomenal recording. Anyways, we're excited to present these. I don't know if it'll be 2019 or 2020, but some cool stuff from the Robot Apocalypse coming up. They come in at number six, so it was actually earlier this year. I'll have to get up, uh, uh, put up with the uh, posting of uh, nice DJ Gogolisha setting me up. Um, of the album, The Robot Apocalypse, it was pressed to vinyl. It was released earlier this year. However, it, it made our 2017 release because we released a couple singles early. And, um, oh, Robot Apocalypse, I think, was tied for number one with Do Make Say Think. And I believe last year we played some uh, Pick Me Up. So this year, I'm going to jump into a different track here. Uh, actually, I've, I'm, I'm starting it in the background here. I'm going with... This is one that was recorded. It has some Steve Bays influenced on it. It has some Chelsea McBride. It is more of, uh, Robot Apocalypse has got, I, a lot of it we try and do some post rock. We're try attempting math rock, but that is pretty difficult. And uh, so that's what you kind of hear in this track right here called Phase Shifter. Um, and this is a good lead-in to the uh, top five because there are some, hopefully, Robot Apocalypse collaborators. We would enjoy all of the top five to be Robot but We would enjoy anyone from the top 18 to be Robot Apocalypse collab uh, collaborators. But um, we've got some coming up in the top five. and some great tracks overall coming up. I'm so excited for these ones. Anyways, here it is, Robot Apocalypse. We'll finish out the song and get into the top five releases of 2018. Thank you. Okay, there it is. I was mentioning how there were other Robot Apocalypse collaborators coming up in these top five. This next one is a phenomenal... I've always been a fan of the Cursed Arrows. They're our number five selection. Uh, and they released an album that is so uncharacteristic of the Cursed Arrows. I always put it on and I think this is great. I play it, I listen to the whole thing, it's great music, uh, and usually it's kind of like the dilly-dally type thing where it's a, a little bit uh, grungier, indie, guitar, drums, but they've kind of done, with this one album, Rebirth, it's almost like, I don't know if they're going to continue in this way, but it's almost like a rebirth of sound as well. Uh, I've been playing it quite a bit recently, and I think that's what has helped the Mono Amigos vote it up there. It's coming in at number five. We're going to get to the Cursed Arrows. Now, I am very... I like... I've seen on other um, sites, like uh, different tracks, like False Creek, I think it was. Um, has been voted up there and um, maybe it was even Dear Widow was was featured on one which is an instrumental I think uh, track from this album but my absolute favorite is Near Death Daydream uh, it is so good the whole album is great this is another one you want to check it out but I find this track Near Death Daydream so good I might even have it ahead of number four, but remember, it's a collective voting. 
Coming in at number five right here, we got the Cursed Arrows with their track Near Death Daydream off their Rebirth album right here on CKMS 102.7. Mono a mono! On a day like any other day, our heads were in a haze. We'd been there for a decade. As we walked in the woods in the shade, I was feeling pretty faint. That was the day that I left you. My eyes rolled back and my legs gave out. You held my coat as I fell. Fantastic track right there by the Cursed Arrows. Uh, so amazing. Like, I don't know how you can agree. Absolutely amazing track. Um, we are into the top four right here on the CKMS Mono A Mono Top 18 of 2018. We're going to have, I'm told that we're going to have um, them kind of appearing the top 18. Maybe I'll do, as we get down to number two or so, a quick recap. Um, we just heard some Cursed Arrows. Another big one. Now, there was some controversy around the, the lead vocalist uh, this year with a whole bunch of things. Not a whole bunch of things. Any, one thing. Um, but the album is still fantastic. I was looking forward to this album. We've got it spinning up here on the vinyl machine also known as the record player. Some A Perfect Circle coming in at number four. Um, there are a couple amazing tracks off of this album. I'm going to go with, and there is a slight curse at the end, be forewarned, uh, The Doomed. But the whole album is amazing. Uh, don't think this is the one track I believe that has some uh, uh, the curse in it uh, coming from the cursed arrows anyway uh, and but it is a great track it's kind of uh, talking about the Beatitudes which I, I've been noticing a lot of um, a perfect circles music kind of has kind of this Catholic reference and it's all like Especially if you go back and you listen to Judith, it, it, that one is very um, almost anti-religious a little bit. But it's almost like there's there's this inner turmoil with it because other tracks are are somewhat religious, and this one is more. It's looking at the Beatitudes and 
uh, talking about society and how come they're not following or, or I don't know this, this is my interpretation if I'm completely off make sure to comment uh, tell me I have no idea what I'm talking about that is perfectly fine I don't claim to know exactly what all these songs are but it is definitely the Beatitudes I am pretty sure of that um, so here is the doomed by a perfect circle right here on CKMS 102.7 Mano a mano! Behold a new Christ! Behold the same old horn! Gather at the altar ring! New beginning, new word! And the word was death! And the word was without light! The new so powerful it's such a powerful track that one um anyhow anywhere anyways 
We're going to jump. We are into the top three. And I just gave a hint. I don't know if people picked up on it. But coming in at number three on the top 18 of 2018 is a band that I hadn't even heard of. But I kind of, uh, on record store day, I was seeing this, that it was coming out, and I, I, and I kind of looked into it, and I saw who it was. And one of my favorite bands is the Mars Volta. And Anywhere, which is the name of this band coming in at number three, was re- uh, there was an album called Anywhere 2 coming out. And so I looked into it, and it's got some members of Mars Volta. This album also actually has some collaborations on it. Uh, one of the collaborations by uh, Chris Novoselic. Uh, I don't believe he's playing his what he's known for, which is the bass from Nirvana. I, I think he's playing kind of a weird instrument, and I'm not exactly sure what track. But this whole album, this is like one of those concept albums. I don't believe, I'm, I'm going to get into a track here that I don't necessarily think... Um, I'm going to get, I'm looking it up here because it's, it's Astrophysical Graffiti. Um, I, I do believe that this is a great track. Some of the music on this Anywhere 2 album, I think has a little bit of a Led Zeppelin feel, but a little bit weirder. Um, but I went back and I was able to track down the original Anywhere album also. Uh, both of them are printed in, in limited numbers, so they're hard to get your hands on. And it is fantastic, too. So they kind of uh, originally was written up as an acoustic psychedelic, I believe. Uh, Anyways, I'm going to play some. Fantastic. If you love it, make sure to check out Anywhere, which is the first album. Anywhere 2 by Anywhere, which is the second album. This is off Anywhere 2. Release Record Store Day 2018. Fantastic. Here it is, 102.7. Mono a mono.
Okay. Unbelievable. A bit, see, I, I think that one had a bit of a Led zeppelin -y feel during parts. Um, maybe not, I don't know. Again, you can comment below and tell me if I'm totally off. Quick recap. Top 18 as we go into the top two. Top two. Green Tree Frogs, 18. 17, Smashing Pumpkins. 16, Ben Sinister. 15, Tokyo Police Club. 14, Dilly Dally. 13, Audio Boffins. 12, Smash Boom Pow. 11, Parker Bosley. 10, Kara Lee. 9, Cyanide Kiss. 8, Wax Mannequin. 7, Wet Secrets. 6, Robot Apocalypse. 5, Cursed Arrows. Four, a perfect circle. We just heard some anywhere. And we're jumping into some brand new in the number two spot. There, we are big fans of this band. Um, Steve Bays, who's also uh, in the band that just ended uh, Hot Hot Heat, recorded with Robot Apocalypse, which was so cool. Uh, Ryan Dahl who is in the Mounties, also from Limblifter, uh, Age of Electric, and he works on other uh, projects as well. Um, he played himself in our audio comic, which is also on our Mono A Mono Bandcamp page. And it uh, they are both in this band, Mounties. It released that huge track from a year or two ago um, called uh, Headphones. But it also had other amazing tracks. One of the ones we play all the time here on the Mono A Mono Show is Minimum Effort. That's one of our favorites. Uh, the band also includes Hoxley Workman, another amazing Canadian uh, musician, um, is in at number two. Now, they released a whole bunch of... They've released three, actually, great tracks this year. Um, and I believe we're going to get to De-Evolve again. But they've released uh, Burning Money, De-Evolve Again, and shoot, I don't have the other one up here. But it's got a really cool, almost uh, stop motion. I don't know if it's the year of stop motion or what. Um, uh, video for it. I'm choosing right now. We're jumping into the De-Evolve Again. And I believe Mounties will be releasing an album in 2019 as well. Not a, I've seen the album cover, and I they haven't said, I don't think, that it's coming out in 2019. But I think it's hinting at a release in 2019. The album cover looks phenomenal, by the way. It's like, a, it's like an old pirate map or something like that with a skull and stuff. Anyway, looks awesome. Here it is, some Mounties. De-Evolve again, in at number two, right here on the CKMS Mono A Mono, top 18 of 2018. Well, I don't want to go home yet. Flowers and black 
Okay, there it is. Fantastic track. Actually, every track we've heard here in the top 18 is a fantastic track. And I have a hard time arranging them in order. But one of my favorite bands, absolute favorite bands, I found out about, maybe it was this year or last year, and the Mounties are one of my favorite bands, uh, and these guys are new, completely different from Mounties, but I kind of like how Mounties do minimum effort. Maybe this is why that's one of my favorite songs. It is more of an instrumental, although there are kind of yaz and yelling and stuff like that. Uh, this band coming in at number one, Giraffes Giraffes. Is made, some of the songs do have like a, kind of a spoken word over them on some of their uh, earlier albums. Uh, More Skin with Milk Mouth uh, album. That one is a quintessential math rock album. When we did a show on math rock, maybe it was last year, uh, we were looking up different math rock bands. I saw the album cover, it looked so cool, I played some, I couldn't believe how good it sounded. Uh, and I ended up buying the album and it was amazing. It just so happened that they ended up releasing another album this year, which I also purchased, uh, called Memory Lame. And the album that I just bought was so good I thought, what's unfortunate is I'm gonna get this new album and there's no way they can top that old album. It's so amazing. Not that a band needs to top an album, but that album was so good that I thought, how, like, how can anything compare? Memory Lame is unbelievable. So, so good. From start to finish, the whole thing is amazing. You can put on the record, go do something, sit, relax, just listen to the album, and be completely satisfied. That's how good the whole album is from start to finish. So, coming in at number one, I've got some in the background, I'm gonna keep it going. And for as long as I have time right here on the Mono Way Mono Show, I'm going to play some Giraffes Giraffes off memory lame right here on CKMS 102.7. Mono Way Mono, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to tune in in two weeks when here on the Mono Way Mono Show we do the CKMS Golden MP3 Awards, which are the... Uh, our radio station, CKMS, uh, awards for DJs, things like that. It's going to happen just into January, and it's going to be the 2018 awards. Voted by the membership, the listeners, and things like that. Uh, it's an exciting time, the end of the year, for the Mono Way Mono Show. We get to do uh, great shows like this. Thank you for watching. Again, if you have other suggestions, some people said Stone Temple Pilots. Some people said Alice in Chains. I don't know. I listened to them. They were good. I just didn't feel like they fit in the top 18. If you think they should, tell me who they should bump out. All right, here we go. Some more giraffes, giraffes. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in two weeks' time.